Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how can we discover active IPs. Here IPs means IP addresses within an advanced IP scanner. Advanced IP scanner is the tool name. It is a free tool. We can run it on any of the Windows server. Either it is a Windows client OS or server OS. So I will show you first how we can install the advanced IP scanner and what is the usage of advanced IP scanner. And with the network scan, we can discover the active IPs and also the free IPs. And after that, we'll also show discuss, talk about VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is one of the future in Excel, Microsoft Office Excel, how we can utilize VLOOKUP in advanced IP scanner tool. Okay, the, uh, the correlation also I will explain. Okay, so let's start with the advanced IP scanner in install first. So let me log into our lab system. To download the advanced IP scanner, it's a free tool. We can just uh, type in the Google advanced IP scanner download. When you type advanced IP scanner download in internet, we can see the first link itself. It's a advanced IP scanner URL. So when you open, see this is the information of advanced IP scanner, scan your network in seconds. See free IP scanner is trusted by 60 million users. It is a free free download. We can run it on Windows client OSS as well as server OSS. So let me click on free download. So we have a tool. So just click on free download. It's already downloading is in progress. So if you go to the show to all the tool is downloaded. When we select show folder tool is ready. So installation procedure is straight away installation. Just right click the advanced IP scanner, click on run as administrator. It will launch the installation. So select the setup language English, click on OK. So we can do the installation. Click on next and installation pretty straightforward just to follow the on screen instructions. So click on install, it will install. So once installation is completed, just click on finish. It will launch the advanced IP scanner icon. See, this is the console for the advanced IP scanner. So to do the scanning, generally we can give the, the complete network IP address scanning. Before explaining this tool, let's talk about some other information about this tool. In the same browser, if I see the from the same website, if you scroll down, they clearly explained about what is the importance of advanced IP scanner. So it's a reliable and free network scanner. See, we can able to scan within our IP range. We can scan, analyze the local area network, and the program shows all network devices give you access to the shared folders. Even if you see the expand the specific system, we have a shared folders access. Okay, that point they highlighted. And also we can see remote control of the computers via RDP and R admin. So remote option also available using this tool and can even remotely switch the computers off. That means we can also shut down the systems using this tool and it is easy to use and run as portable edition. Even if you don't want to install in your customer environment, you can download the portable edition also. Portable edition means we no need to install, just to launch the setup the portable file. Okay, and it should be the first choice for every network admin, not only network admin, most of the system engineers can use this tool in the customer environments or on-premises support environment. Okay, and in addition, the key features, key features means that is nothing but a usage. What are all the features this tool have? Those features, those features only we will utilize. Okay, use case or in other words, usage. The main usage, easy access to network shares and remote control via RDP, MAC address detection and switching on off computer remotely and export can scan results to CSV file and no installation required. No installation required means portable edition. Okay, we can observe all these features one by one. Let's say we already installed the advanced IP scanner. If you want to scan your network, uh, we can take multiple networks also. If you see here, it's automatically detected our network and we can scan multiple VLAN subnets also. But for the test time being, for testing purpose, I'm just selecting one network, 192.168.243.1-1. 
254. 254 is the last range of IP address. And 192.168 means it's a class C IP address range. So when you type this IP address, either one subnet or you can put comma and add multiple subnets also okay they given in the example format here 192.168.0.1200 comma they given a multiple ranges either you can do multiple subnets or one subnet select and click on scan button once you click on scan button it will start scanning what are all the ips are in use or what all the IPs are active within this subnet. So those information it is scanning. The scan information, if you see in the bottom line, the green color bar is running. Once it is completed in the bottom, you can see how much percentage is running. It will also show us how many systems are active, how many systems are unknown, how many systems are dead. So here dead is nothing but if the system is unused or system is power off, it will show it as a dead state, okay? So currently uh, percentage of scanning is 89%, 91%. So soon it will complete the 100%. Once the scanning is completed, this top button will be completed. It will change to normal. 99% now. So if you see 77 alive, zero dead, and 177 IP address are unknown, okay? If you see, there is a scan button back to normal, and earlier there was a stop icon while the scan is running, okay? So now we know how to install the advanced IP scanner now we are going to observe the usage information. So usage information means if you see the official website browser, they're given a features. The first feature, easy access to network share. So easy access to network share means, suppose if you select any of the system, there is a option to access the share. When you click on explore, it will ask for the username and password. Once you enter the username and password, you can access the network share. That is the importance of network share feature. It's not only Windows system, even for Linux systems, we can access, okay? And another feature, remote control via rdp and r admin okay if you want to do remote control just right click the system you can use a ra admin full control view only telnet file transfer shutdown all these features are available with the r admin section okay so we uh, full control means we can directly connect to remote session okay and we can also shut down we can also transfer the file even we can telnet okay and now go to the main site see mac address detection even this tool will help us to do mac address detection if you see within the after the scan results what is the columns available the status for the system all the name ip address and the manufacturer of the system if it is showing vmware means it's a virtual machine if it is showing hpe means it's a physical server and the mac address means the, all the devices running with a mac address mac address full form is media access control so mac address detection also available using this tool that point they highlighted and the switching on off computers remotely so on off computer remotely means just right click here you can use the options tools see we can use ping these all the features are available wake on lan available rdp available FTP. Same way, if you go to the advanced, there is a shutdown option is available. Okay. And even our admin also have a same feature shutdown. Okay. Uh, so this feature also we observed. And another feature is export scan results to CSV. So CSV means again, open the same tool and go to the file. We already exported this information. We know 77 systems are alive, 177 systems are unknown. But to find out what are all the 170, 177, 177 system free IPs, how we can filter out manually is it's difficult. So during that time, what we can do is we can just export this result, save as to CSV format. Let's say I'm saving the information to documents in a CSV format. And now type the any name, let's say IP address. IP address scan result. Okay, this is the file name. So now click on save. Once we save, just copy this to file. I'm just copying this file and pasting into our 
local system. Let's say when you are pasting into the local system, let me open a folder. Let's say, for example, I'm opening the C drive test lab. I'm just pasting here. Okay. When you paste the folder here, just right click here and open. This is a comma separated values file. We can just save it into a Excel file. Right click the file, go to the save as and while saving the file into the same location, test lab location, folder location, you can just select drop down and save it as a Excel workbook and click on save. Okay, now the save is completed. If I close this box, we can see there is a comma separated value and Excel worksheet because when you use Excel worksheet, it is easy to run the formulas. So let me open the IP address scan result file. This is the overall scan result we exported into the Excel file. So now I will show you how we can do the VLOOKUP. Okay, let's say our IP address is 192.168.243.network. So I just mentioned as the same network series number here. Okay, so now the same IP, uh, same network series number, how we can make the VLOOKUP is just first make the IP address sheet, IP address, and we need a host name, which are all the host names are assigned. Okay, so once you assign this one, let me highlight this to color just for a quick identification. Okay, we prepared the two columns, IP address and host name. So IP address, let's say our series is 192.168.243.1. So once you type one and two, you can just select these two IPs and just to scroll down our IP address ranges until 254. So until 254, you can just drag. Okay, so IPs are completely arranged in the sequential order. But we need to know which are all the active IPs, how we are discovering active IPs, and which are all the free IPs. Here, we require a VLOOKUP formula. So select here the first cell and type equal. You will find the function is VLOOKUP. This VLOOKUP function only we have to open. You can see VLOOKUP function. So lookup value should be our first column. So put the cursor here and select the first column. And a table array. This table array should be our IP address scan result. So let me cancel. So if you go to the IP address scan result, we have a IP address and host name is here. So let me copy once again. I'm just keeping here for easy, easy view. Okay. We have the IP address and host name. So let's go here. Let me type equal again. We look up, select the first lookup value is AA first column and the table array should be our scan results tab. So select from IP column and drag to the second box. This is the table C, column C and column C is the column D is the table array. And the column and index number should be, we need a result of second column. So second column means it's a zero one. We need to type the number type the number two and range lookup there will be any errors we should not need the any errors so we should make it as a zero now click on ok click on s the result will come here so when you just scan here you will find what are all the ips are in use what are all the host names are in use and what is the free ips Okay, free APs means it is showing as NA. See, all the information is within fraction of seconds. Using VLOOKUP, we can able to extract. But only thing is, when you select the information, you can see the formula is showing here also. VLOOKUP, column A, IP address, scan result, CD, column CD, 2, 0. So if you want to remove the formula for each cell, how we can do is select the first cell and control shift, down arrow, control C, right click you can paste values when you paste value when i select the any cell there will be no formula okay now what i can do is just do alt d f f filter and within the filter you can just uncheck the select all just to scroll down and you can select na so this na ips are the free ip range okay so either you can select control shift down arrow and clean up Okay, and if you want to put any of the color, you can just select the down arrow. We can select the down arrow until the free IP range. We can keep it as a free IP range. 
let's say we can i am just typing as a free ip that means if this ip is not at activated we can use it for a, any of the feature use okay so these all ips are feature purpose we can use it for a, any of the other feature deployed virtual machines or physical machines okay now to remove the filter alt d f f when i remove the alt d f f you can see there are some ips are already assigned some are the free ips so hope you understand how we can discover the active ips the remaining ips are inactive ip inactive ip or we call it as a free ip we can assign it for your other systems so we talk about installation of advanced ip scanner we talk about the usage what is the main features as per the advanced ip scanner website and network scan we already done it we exported the result and we validated with the excel we look up okay so hope you understand the the comparison and all even if you want to differentiate within a different color you can also differentiate with a different color as well select the column control shift down arrow go to the insert table and click on okay you can change it as a table style can be any color you can use okay and the free ips if you want to differentiate with a different color again select as uh, unselect the all the cells select only the free ip so for the free ip you can make any of the different color okay so now remove the filter alt d f f when i select alt d f f the filter is removed now it's easy to differentiate which is the active ip which is the free ip okay but if you want to do the manually from this scan result it's very difficult to find out which is the ip sir free but with the excel vlookup formula it's easy to trace i just shown you for one vlan even if your organization if you have a multiple subnets even for the multiple subnets also you can just copy and scan in a same procedure but this is a free tool i explained today but in the production environment some organization they may also use a, any of the enterprise tools like uh, they may use info blocks solar winds network ip scanner any of the other third party tools but for the free tool if you are looking in the internet this is one of the tool uh, which usually we can use to find out the free ip range within our production networks okay so hope you got an idea of all these key points install usage network scan and we look up usage okay so that's it for today thank you if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the gnan cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support Bye for now.